for the first time ever, please help me welcome to the Proper Royals stage, uh, Mr. Garrick DeMeyer. <laughs> segment that i call the top five and I, I haven't mentioned it because i want the you know the, the quick honest quick fire answers okay. so i to give you a question and you get you give uh five answers and uh, i'll do my very best not to interrupt you so that it's you know five minutes kind of thing and i'll tell you i'll say let's say the context is now to five years from now so what would be your top five recessives that you think you should be focusing on into the future is my question, but let's say five years from now, where do you, what do you think, basically, what would you work on today looking forward five years? Well, I wish somebody would have asked me this, you know, five years ago, I would have said Desert Ghost for sure, because that, that project. Would was, you have known then? I didn't. I slept on Desert Ghost for such a long time. I, I have Desert Ghost, yeah, I produce Desert Ghost clowns. I have a Desert Ghost pie that I'm going to be breeding to double hats this season. But that's a project I definitely slept on initially. I, I just, I guess I didn't see that many of them in person at like 10 years ago when they first became available. And I'm just like, you know what? It kind of looks like an orange dream fire. And I think I can, I can make stuff simpler with a double coat on than I can with a recessive. And at the time I was all about getting like really showy stuff like banana, uh, banana was real big back then, you know, doing stuff like that. So Desert Ghost, but still even moving forward, I think Desert Ghost is a big one. Okay. Um, pie it is always, it's a classic. It's gonna always be popular. I mean, people, I would say if you line up 10 ball pythons, no matter what the morphs are, and there's a pied in, in those 10, most like new people that are just getting into this are gonna probably gravitate towards the pied. Um, you know, Clown, I'm so deep into Clown right now. I mean, I'm, I'm 20 years into clowns almost um you know that i i, I gotta say that too um, it seems like the bottom i know i said i wasn't gonna interrupt but it seems like the the bottom for clowns is, is still generations away i mean i can't believe so uh, i mean that's what when i first got into that when i first bought my original mail in 2003 i'm like i just saw so much potential no there were none none of these other morphs out there back then but i just saw the potential like that's a color morph and a pattern morph and that's right. gonna, that's going to be a game changer and i had no idea how much of it it would be but that i mean it, it's just a classic morph and and i just love them um another one so it's, let's see i went to desicos clown pie i would say monarch is is something that i'm i'm working towards getting into more of my projects more in the form of like double hat stuff right now but uh, you know, trying to get Monarch into Pie, Monarch, Monarch into Clown, um, probably Genetic Stripe too, but maybe a few other things. Um, so, and, and I, I consider all—I mean, Ultramel is not the same thing as Monarch, but it's similar. And Ultramel is another one that I'm, yeah, I'm really That's working the uh, Ultramel Pied and uh, Hypo Ultramel Pied stuff, the triple recessives, uh, Ultramel Clown. I'm, I'm really working that project fairly hardly hard right now. Um, as far as other recessives, I have not gotten into monsoon yet, and I don't have any visual sunsets yet. Um, wow. those projects, I, I like them. I'm, and, and I've liked some of the combos that have come out so far, but I want to, I, I, and I feel like I'm sleeping on them a little bit because sooner or later, somebody's going to hit something that is just out of this world with them. I, right. I knew it. And, and yeah. there, I, I know, um, the uh, uh, lavender albino sunset, I believe that uh, uh, Brad Boa hatched out. I think I, I'm almost positive that's what it was. I saw a picture of it a few months ago. Um, that thing looked unbelievable, um, and I think it was sunset in with lavender albino. And I'll, I'll have to look, uh, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but anyway. Um, yeah, and monsoon, you know, that's a that's like one of the big recessive morphs that are out there right now that are just kind of starting to get out a little bit. Um, that, you know, all of them kind of look the same with different colors right now. I'm just wondering what other genes are going to get in there to like 
alter the pattern or just destroy right. the pattern. Right. And I think that's the key is, you know, because like, like there have been some Kodam jeans over the past few years that have done that too, like where everything kind of looks the same, but maybe a little bit different color, like bamboo, but champagne, you know, those are great morphs, but you know, you, you start mixing too many jeans in with champagne, they all kind of look the same. And, and same thing with bamboo, it, it's hard to tell what other jeans are in some of these bamboo combos. And I like both of those combos, but to me, if, if most of the different combos that you do with them are gonna look, gonna look kind of similar, might not be as much of a point to do them. Right. So, you know, uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I got all five, uh, but oh, you got like seven. Yeah, you 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 fulfilled the uh, the uh, the you fulfilled the exercise wonderfully. Okay. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about these clowns for a minute. I so I myself I wouldn't say I slept on clown. I've only been at I've only been at breeding ball pipe. I'm only going into my third year breeding, so it's not like a I've either done something or I haven't there at the moment, but uh, obviously I have a lot of clown stuff. Now, the thing that I've been really excited about, like just in the past year, year and a half on clowns is seeing some of the effects that some codoms or other recessives have that again, totally change the pattern. So like clowns look different than any other ball pythons, just a normal clown. Mm -hmm. But then you take like an acid in a clown and other than just the head, it doesn't even really look like a clown. It doesn't have the typical clown, uh, you know, lateral and teardrops coming down the side. Spot and nose. Um, what's spot, that? Spot nose is a right. great pattern disruptor as well. Yeah. And then um, I know I saw I got to uh, work a uh, vending show with Dale at Constricted Reptiles. And, and I think you and he are kind of at the head of the uh, genet are you and and I know that you and he are working on it the genetic stripe clown project that has a whole different um, pattern both of genetic stripe and clown it has these like triangle teardrops that 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 you don't see anywhere and so like I got really reinvigorated on the clown stuff because there it is a new color new pattern but still within the same genes because we're still finding new things to put in there yeah that that we're able to be part of something that is evolving and literally never been done is so rare in this world like i i'm not going to invent a new hamburger like i could put a new topping on it but it's still i mean it's a hamburger i'm not you know i'm not breaking any new ground i'm just doing it well this is all new completely completely new stuff market wise would you pick ultramel or monarch right now if if the money well, was i guess you could source them equally kind of thing or if it didn't matter to you the overhead you know honestly i only have a single monarch male that i'm breeding into some clown combo and some pie females uh just to make my like i just produced my first double head uh clown combo with monarch um so i'm 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 so far away from really seeing the big difference between them and all the different combos uh, that you could do. So I can't really say, but I mean, I, I love Ultramel. You know, I worked with Caramel for many years and when Ultramel came out and, you know, initially I had quite a bit of success producing like nice, perfect Caramels, but eventually, you know, just the, the chances of some of them coming out with kinks and stuff, I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. And, and they are definitely different from like caramel is definitely different and i love them but they're different than than the ultramel but i figured well ultramel is close enough that anything that i was doing with caramel i could do with ultramel so i kind of switched over my projects i did all the same projects in the ultramel instead um monarch i'm going to try to duplicate that because th there is a difference i mean if you if you have them in person and you just look, you got one in each hand, you can definitely see a difference in them. You know, Monarch is so much darker pattern. Um, so I guess if I could pick one just because of the rarity, I'd pick Monarch, but I, I love Ultramel and I've got Ultramel and so many different other recessive projects. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, I think they're they're different enough that the mm -hmm. uh, I wanna do all those projects with both genes. So I, I guess I wouldn't really pick one versus the other. They're both great, but they're different. It doesn't have, you don't see it as an either or. Uh, what's right. uh, you know, one's not exclusive of the other. 
if you if you're into breeding ball pythons, the only way you can really lose is to give up and sell. Um, if you keep your breeders and you keep working your projects, eventually it'll come back around and you'll be profitable.